Very special indeed. Now, here's something that you definitely need to put on your holiday to-do list. Long Adam is the latest musical created by the award-winning uh, David Carmer. We love him. And it is currently being presented at the Fugon Theatre for the festive season. And it started off with the 20, from the 20th November already. Um, it's a story about love and intrigue in a story world that's kind of set in Cape Town's ballroom dance culture back in the 1960s. So it takes us in a, a little bit of a trip down a memory lane. But before we chat to the two lead characters, Here's a quick sneak peek. But now, as promised, a dance demonstration by Angelina Cupido and her team of dancers. Brilliant stuff. There we have it. Right now we are joined by Roshni Ferguson and Cameron Boerta who played the lead characters, Angelina and Jeff, respectively. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for um, having us. Very cool, man. Just that little snippet. I know it was very brief, but you get that, that old school, old world charm and kind of glitzy glamour of what it was like in the 1960s. And I'm sure you guys loved being transported back into that era as well. Give us a bit of a roundup of the musical as well. Well, um, so my character, Angelina, she is a boredom dancer and she is gunning to win the Swaziland Boredom Championship. But then after her partner, Lulu, drops her, she yeah. meets uh, Jeffrey Levine, who is from Joburg, to help his aunt, uh, Dinah Levine, run the hotel yeah. after his uncle, Harry, passes away. And they kind of meet and fall in love and things take a different turn for them from there, from then onwards, yeah. I love that. So it's all that's, it's a beautiful story that you're able to follow. And like I said, I mean, really sticking to the theme of the 1960s and dance, look at that Harry's bar and everything really made up. What does it take, Cameron, to, to put a production like this together? I mean, we really have to pay so much attention to detail. Well, I think it's a big team that the Fugard Theatre have. And we've got a set designer, we've got a musical director, we've got a wardrobe mistress, we've got mm -hmm. the director, we've got a race choreographer. So it's a big team. It's a big machine that puts on a production of this scale and of this grandeur. And I think yeah. the big thing is staying true to the era, which we, Dard and Sol, have done. They've... they've put you in a, in a time machine and you've gone back to 1965 and yeah. not being born there at all, it truly is this great experience yeah. Yeah. with beautiful fashion, um, like even the set and it's grandeur in that yeah. stage of our lives. And this is great because now you can say you actually know what the 60s were all about <laughs> exactly. because you had a taste of it. Even <laughs> hairstyles, like uh, our gents, like you get styled, your hair gets styled a certain way and you have to stick to that. But, yeah. Well, that's brilliant, man. Listen, uh, do, do you guys have real long arm dancing background um, going into this? Or was it a case of kind of learning from the get-go? I, I definitely did not. Okay. <laughs> um, I am a trained dancer. I've, I've studied at the Waterfront Theatre School, yeah. so I've done um, ballet, tap, modern jazz, all of those kinds of dances. But ballroom I've never done. So when Grant yeah. said to us, you're going to learn a cha-cha, I went, hmm? Uh, Me. Come again? Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was an amazing experience um, to learn it's, it's because boredom is such a different language yes. to the normal dance styles. It was amazing to see how your body can quickly adapt to That's that. That's amazing. I'm sure so it helped really having good, yeah. a dance background as well. Cameron, what about you? Um, well, also trained, yeah. um, but more musical theatre. Mm. But my only connection to ballroom is my grandmother. My grandmother wow. is this ballroom and Latin dance from way back when. But you also think going, yeah, Langaram, I'm Afrikaans, I've oh, got yeah. this. Yeah. And oh, then you realise, and there's so much more yeah. styles that you actually have to be versatile in as well. So we had five weeks of rehearsals truly sure. to get into these styles and yeah. um, do them justice. Yeah, and I mean, you can definitely see that you guys have put in the work because it's a magnificent show from what we've seen. So it started off on the 20th of November already at the Fugar Theatre. What would you like viewers or people coming to see the show take away from this production? Because it really is something, I think that's magical, special. I think the biggest thing that we like to is people to start talking about all the stuff that happened in our past. And mm. we sometimes feel that um, issues that we address yeah. in the play get swept underneath the rug. Like people yeah. don't like talking about our past. Okay, awesome. um, and David has created this beautiful platform to open conversations about what happened in 1965 with people being ev evicted again, families being ripped apart. Mm. Um, and I think now with celebrating Reconciliation Day, it truly is the time for us to reconcile and to build a better future for us all. And to add to that, it is an important topic 
simply because, like Cameron said, it gets swept under the rug, but also so that we can start healing yeah. as a nation, as a country, because if we don't talk about these things, how are we going to heal? You have to remove yeah. the thorn for the wound to be able to heal. I love that. So there's a very deep meaning behind yeah. this, um, but also, of course, visually very entertaining. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. Thank you so, much so, for so it us. runs up until? The 2nd of February. The 2nd yeah. of February at the Fugard Theatre. Yes. Go catch it. It's going to be amazing. And also stick around because in a couple of minutes, myself and Leanne will learn to lung atom. And I want to find out what's the difference between lung atom and sookie. We'll figure it out. <laughs>